I've known Scott for about 10 years, I think, so uh, this is a familiar place. For anybody who knows me, I'm a pretty analytical guy, and anybody who's going to come and see Delta Partners over the next year out of this uh, event here, I want you to remember 10 numbers, okay? Because I'm going to give you 10 numbers about Delta as a, as a test when you come and see me. So the first is 1994, which is when we were formed. Um, I wasn't there at the start, but I was there not too long after. So I've been in the game about 12 or 13 years, and we've raised five funds since then, and we are on our fifth fund right now, which is, actually, I'll talk a little about that in a little minute. Little minute, but we've only invested about half that fund. The second end, we've invested in about 70 plus companies over those years, um, and we're very, very active right now because we're actually reaching the tail end of our current fund, and we want to make a number of investments out of that um, very soon. Uh, third fact, it's 105 million euros, um, and we will invest that in 25 companies, and we've done 13 and about to close three others. Um, so over the next year or so, we plan to close another eight or so. Uh, we've invested 40% of that fund, which those of you who don't understand the math, well, those who understand venture capital understand we hold follow-on reserves against some of those investments. We have six investment professionals. None of us, uh, under, we all invest in technology. None of us are technologists. We're all MBA types. Um, so when you come to see us, we won't be asking you about uh, the technology stack or anything like that. That's all stuff we'll get to in later due diligence. It's all around the market opportunity, the potential for growth, the quality of the team, all the sorts of good things that you would expect. 90% of the investments we make are in the first round, uh, they're either seed or they're startup investments. And 90% of the investments that we make were the first institutional investor in those companies. We typically only like to invest when we're the first institutional investor. Occasionally there are angels there before us. We just feel like the effect we can have on the company is just a lot more impactful if we can be there at the very, very start. And for those investors who come on later, it's just a different game. The first institutional investor tends to have the most influence in the company. And Vinay will talk about my colleague, Rob. And it is really is about, for us, being there from the very, very start and shaping the values and the morals of the company as, as it goes through. Our average investment is 900,000 euro um, up front. Uh, over the life of a company, we expect to have four to five million euro. So you can see the level of the reserves we're holding against, against each company. We're holding three to four dollars of reserves against every single dollar that we put up in the first round. But we only want to invest in companies where the total capital required is 10 to 15 million euro. We don't invest in semiconductor. We have historically. We don't invest in molecular biology things. All those things require way too much capital. We're looking for things that take a small amount of money to start and a reasonable amount of capital and that can get to a good result on that capital. And um, the final fact, people always ask us, well, how much of the company do you want to own? And we say, well, certainly not less than 95%. But on occasion, just on occasion, we take a little bit less than that. Our average uh, shareholding is about 25% in the companies that we invest in. Now, sometimes that builds up over time as we invest. Sometimes it goes down as we get diluted. Okay. I've been in the venture capital game since 1999. Before that, I worked with McKinsey. I'm a classic MBA type, as are three or four of my colleagues. Uh, Vinay will give you a view as to whether that's a good thing or not. We happen to think it's the right way to come and look at these businesses. Thanks very much.